spilled a little bit. Kind of did a weird skip hop on my way back. I got excited. Hey guys, it's Sarah from Snacks and Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be trying the Emmy Low Carb Ramen. I saw the Keto Twins make a bunch of videos on these, and so I finally decided to buy it. Um, and I haven't tried it. I bought it like before we went out of town and I brought them to eat them in the hotel, but I never did. So we're gonna try it here. Uh, there's two different instructions on the packaging. One is to make on the stove top. The other one is to make it in the microwave. So I'm gonna use this uh, microwave safe bowl, measuring cup thing, and we're gonna make some ramen. This is the spicy beef flavor ramen soup. It is plant-based. Um, 21 grams of protein per serving, five grams of net carbs per serving. There is one serving in each package, which is like 300 calories. So we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna try other ramen variations in other videos. So let's get started with this. I realized I wanted to like open it on camera. So this is made with pumpkin seed protein. So the noodles have like kind of a greenish, color to them and then this is the spice packet spice up spice up your life so we're gonna pop these in there since it has the since the noodles have the same texture as like traditional ramen noodles mm. oh wow they even taste like dry ramen so if you like dry ramen, I know some folks will just crunch up the packet and then put the spices on it. I'm supposed to measure out the water first, so let me do that. Um, so we have one and a half cups of water. We have our ramen. Let me just break it. Break it up so it goes in there kind of better. And we're gonna heat this for five minutes. Then we're gonna break it up again and five more minutes. And this is again the spicy beef flavor. There are like pork, shrimp, chicken flavors. There's a spicy shrimp flavor. Um, since it's all plant-based, I'm interested to see what the ingredients are for like the shrimp and the pork ones. Um, I probably won't really get those just because I don't eat shrimp or pork. I do just prefer the beef flavored ramen. The creamy chicken and beef flavors are my preferred cup noodle flavors. I do want to try ramen variation where someone took an egg yolk and mixed it with sauces and spices like mustard and soy sauce and made like a, a base for a sauce and then added just a little bit of the ramen base, the soup base to kind of cook that egg and make it like a creamier sauce and put that on there. Kind of like a carbonara, but ramen, ramen carbonara. I don't know if that's a traditional way to make ramen. That would be an interesting little Google search that I could do while I cook this. Update number one. So I followed the instructions, heated the ramen for five minutes, broke it up more, heated it for five more minutes. At the end of the full 10 minutes, I didn't have much water left kind of like evaporated. <laughs> yeah, microwave on high for five minutes, stir and separate, microwave for five extra minutes, add soup based to ramen, stir and slurp away. So I want the noodles to be a bit softer. So I added some more water. I also wanted some broth, so I added more water. And I'm microwaving it for three more minutes to see if that's gonna soften the noodles a bit further and give me enough broth to have broth. Um, but I was looking on like online about the egg in the ramen thing. And I found this TikToker, um, Sanju, S-A-N-J-U. And I can link his thing in the description. His bio is, I'm just a college kid learning to cook. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so he has like 26,000 followers. And the, the original video I saw tagged him so I just went straight to his video but that's basically what he does he's got 6.5 million views on the pinned video of making a broth uh, base with egg yolk kewpie mayo um, sriracha and like other spices and stuff so it sounds really good I'm trying to decide if I want to make the broth 
the egg broth thing now. I kind of do. I'm gonna do it. Okay, this is a very different camera angle. Hopefully I can get it to work. Um, but I'm going to, I'm just gonna use the whole egg. He had a video where he did that. Um, because I don't wanna separate out the yolk. I'm gonna do soy sauce. I don't have the bottle, so we're doing one packet of takeout soy sauce. And some sriracha, off-brand sriracha. Some regular mayo, because I don't have QB mayo. I thought I did have some, but just regular mayo. And then I saw someone in the comments say, how's this gonna work? To use just a little bit of sesame oil. So I'm gonna use a little bit of sesame oil. Mm, that smells good. Okay. Hot, that's a hot thing. So. This looks <laughs> the coloring is very off. <laughs> Is it gonna flip back up if I do like that? Okay. I'm curious how that's gonna like come out in production. Um, so this is my ramen. The egg kind of scrambled a little. I think I was a bit too, um, what's it called? Ambitious. But otherwise, we'll try it. Hmm. I could probably cook the noodles a little longer. I think I'm gonna do the stove top next time. I didn't have the flavor packet. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Like, why is it not like beefy flavored? There's another flavor packet. Like a dodo. Coloring's a lot better. That smells good. Oh, there's like a. What is that? I don't know. It smells like curry. Okay. Back on the noodles. Now our like ramen broth is a proper color brown for beef, that's better. <laughs> the noodles again could be cooked down um, a bit more, but they hold up very well. It was very good. The um, scrambling of the egg yolk sauce, I don't know if it would be less likely to happen if it didn't have egg whites in it. Um, but I do like the idea of adding more protein. These are expensive. It was like 38, 36 or 38 dollars for a six pack. They are pricey. I need to get a spoon for the broth. The broth is like a really pretty dark brown color. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's like the perfect amount of spice, even with that little bit of sriracha added in. This stuff is so good, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you have it in your budget, or if you like want to treat yourself, I said definitely go for this. Yummy. Y'all are just watching me eat dinner at this point. Actually, I already had dinner. This is second dinner. What is it? Dinner, then supper. The last two Hobbit meals. Very good. Very good. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments any other ramen variations that you know of because I have five more packs of this Emmy spicy beef ramen that I want to customize in a really fun way. And I know the Keto Twins had tried, I think, a cheesy ramen. I'm gonna go and see what other recipes they, they've tried while using it. But the like egg broth variation is very good. So thank you to that TikToker for sharing his recipe. Mm. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.